Haneda Airport International Terminal Food Tour. 13 Recommended Food Choices. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video introduces Haneda Airport. We introduce 13 types of food and popular sweets from the newest spots in the international terminal. We also introduce the world's most popular onigiri on social media. So please enjoy the video until the very end. Now, let's get started! This time, we will be heading to Haneda Airport in Otaku, Tokyo. We have arrived at Haneda Airport Terminal 3. There are two inexpensive options to get to central Tokyo from Haneda Airport the train and the monorail. For Tokyo Station and Ueno Station, we recommend the monorail. For Shinjuku and Shibuya Stations, we recommend the KQ Line. The time and fare will not differ much whichever you use, so it is best to take the one indicated on the internet. Depending on the time of your flight and the place you are going to, Haneda Airport is constructed of three terminals, but let's start with Terminal 3. Terminal 3 is the newest terminal, built in 2010, and handles takeoffs and landings of international flights only. As of 2023, international arrivals always arrive at this terminal. The fifth floor has an observation deck where you can watch the planes take off and land. There are a number of restaurants and souvenir shops on the fourth and fifth floors. There are also yakiniku and sushi restaurants, so enjoy authentic Japanese food at the airport. This bridge on the fourth floor is made of Japanese cypress and is a photo spot. Going down to the second floor and passing the monorail and train ticket booths, the entrance to the Haneda Airport Garden can be found. Haneda Airport Garden is a commercial facility built in January 2023 with a hotel and hot springs inside. The first and second floors have many restaurants and souvenir shops. Since it just opened this year, It has not yet been covered much on social media and is currently a highly recommended commercial facility that most international tourists are unaware of. Here are 13 food recommendations for this facility and Terminal 3. But first, a brief introduction to the other terminals. At Haneda Airport, there are three terminals that can be accessed by a free shuttle bus. Shuttle buses come every 5 to 7 minutes, so there is almost no waiting time. We have arrived at Terminal 1. Terminal 1 is a terminal for domestic flights only. Terminal 3 also has souvenir shops, but Terminals 1 and 2 are more spacious and have more souvenir shops. Many souvenir shops are only available at Haneda Airport. Terminal 1 has a number of restaurants. There are Hamburg steaks, tempura bowls, and even McDonald's. There is a food court on the basement floor, so if you are looking for a quick meal, this is the place to go. The omelet rice with demigla sauce is especially recommended. The omelet rice from a popular restaurant in Asakusa can be easily eaten at the airport. Now, let's move on to Terminal 2. You can take a shuttle bus from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2, but we recommend that you walk to Terminal 2 because it is closer. It takes about 5 minutes to get there. Terminal 2 is for domestic flights only, like Terminal 1. There are many restaurants in this terminal as well. Marugame Udon. The most popular udon restaurant in Japan is also located in this terminal. Also, there is Wako, which specializes in pork cutlets. On the third floor is a conveyor belt sushi restaurant, Gansou Sushi. We recommend this sushi restaurant, 
which we also introduced at Narita Airport. It is possible to eat fresh and authentic sushi at the airport. Then, take the shuttle bus back to Terminal 3. First of all, we will introduce the restaurant in Haneda Airport Garden, which is directly connected to the Terminal 3 that we introduced earlier. The first one is Saryo Suisen. This restaurant specializes in Japanese food and Japanese sweets. This time, we will introduce a particularly recommended dumpling. From among six different flavors, we chose dumplings topped with matcha paste. The sweet matcha goes well with the baked savory dumplings. It also has a slight bitterness. The dumplings are gorgeous with gold leaf on top. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Bairan. It is a Chinese specialty restaurant with 15 branches in Tokyo and other cities. The restaurant offers authentic Chinese cuisine inside, but this time we will introduce a pickup Chinese steamed bun. This is a char siu bun. It is bite sized and easy to eat. The fluffy dough is filled with a lot of char siu. The fatty char siu melts in the mouth. It has a rich flavor. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Miyabi. This store is a high-end bakery with its main branch in Kyoto. What we eat here is the sweets, which are also recommended as a souvenir. This is a chocolate rusk made with twice-baked bread and dipped in white chocolate. The rusk has a nice buttery and wheat flavor with the sweet white chocolate soaking into the rusk. The white chocolate melts in the mouth and is very creamy. They also recommend the black chocolate rusk, which has a bitter taste of cacao. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Misokatsu Yabaton. This restaurant specializes in misokatsu. Misokatsu is a restaurant with its main branch in Nagoya, the home of Misokatsu, and is also introduced in our previous video on Nagoya. This time, we will be eating a boxed lunch. Misokatsudon is a bowl of rice topped with freshly fried pork cutlet and miso sauce. The miso used for the sauce is red miso, which is thicker than regular miso. The delicious smell of the miso increases the appetite. The pork cutlet is freshly fried and crispy. The pork loin has just the right amount of fat on it. The thick miso sauce soaks into the rice and tastes great. It is delicious as it is, but we recommend sprinkling sesame seeds on top. The texture and smell of the sesame seeds give it a different taste. It is nice to be able to enjoy the taste of Nagoya, the home of misokatsu in Tokyo. Next, we will introduce Kinokuniya. It is a high-end supermarket with more than 40 stores in Tokyo and other cities. It is a convenience store with a wide selection of goods and sells non-Japanese foods as well. The pudding introduced at this store is very popular. This pudding is often introduced on TV. It has a rich yolk taste because it is made with plenty of eggs. It also has a slight sweetness of milk. There is a bitter caramel sauce under the pudding. The pudding is not too sweet, so it is recommended for those who do not like sweets. Next, we will introduce this door. Hokkaido Kurashi Hyakaten. This store offers a variety of Hokkaido foods and beverages that are rarely available in Tokyo. In this restaurant, we will introduce two things. The first one is the shumai. It's about twice the size of other restaurants. It is flavored so it can be eaten as it is without pouring anything on it. The ground pork and chicken meat is full of succulent. It is flavored with soy sauce and black pepper. 
There are plenty of bamboo shoots and shiitake mushrooms in this dish, which gives it a nice texture. If you like spicy food, we recommend adding Japanese mustard. It's a very satisfying shumai. The next food is the store's most popular ice cream. This ice cream is made from milk produced in Komagatake, Hokkaido, which is famous for milk. It has a moderate sweetness of milk, but the sweetness does not linger in the mouth and the taste is refreshing. It is a simple but highly recommended ice cream. Next, we will introduce this Japanese style sweet shop, Mosuke Dango. The company that operates this store has a history of over 120 years and also has a store in Ginza. There are various kinds of Japanese traditional sweets, but this time we would like to introduce this one. This is torayaki with a tiger pattern. The dough with honey has a sweet aroma. The texture is moist and fluffy. The inside is filled with shiro an, which is made by boiling white beans with sugar. Compared to anko, it is less sweet and has a crispy taste. The bean skin is nice and crunchy. It is a taste that makes to feel Japan. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Hei Jouen. It is a high-end yakiniku restaurant with more than 30 locations in Tokyo and other parts of Japan. In a previous Odaiva video, we introduced their yakiniku bento. This time, we will eat this meal, which is available only for pickup. It's beef on top of inari, which is sushi wrapped in fried tofu. They use wagyu beef and cook it in a yakiniku sauce. The wagyu beef melts in the mouth. The sweet sauce of the inari goes well with the beef. The smell and texture of the sesame seeds is a nice accent. The yakiniku sauce and the fat from the wagyu beef soaks into the rice and give it a rich flavor. It is such an authentic dish that it is hard to believe it is picked up. This is the end of my introduction to Haneda Airport Garden. Let me introduce three recommended stores in Terminal 3. First is Cafe Cardinal, located on the fourth floor. It is a popular cafe where various foods such as hot dogs and sweets are available. This time, we will introduce this bread. It is bread with a cookie shape like a panda's face on it. It is a cute bread with a small size. The cookie dough is moist and sweet. There's custard cream inside. The dough is fluffy and light in the texture. We recommend this bread to those who like sweetness. Next is this store, Expasa Cafe Haneda. This is a cafe on the fifth floor where it is possible to enjoy a cup of coffee while watching airplanes take off and land. There are many different kinds of food available, but this time we will introduce this bread. This is a pork cutlet sandwich on a baguette. The smell of the sauce is very appetizing. The pork cutlet is fried to order, so it is crispy. The baguette has a firm texture and a nice smell of wheat. The pork cutlet is made from pork loin and is moderately fatty. The sweet sauce and spicy mustard go well together. The size of the pork cutlet is large and satisfying. The last restaurant we will introduce is Onigiri Konga, located on the fourth floor. This store is supervised by Bongo, the world's most famous onigiri shop in Otsuka, Tokyo. Konga is the only restaurant that has been approved by Bongo to open this restaurant. It opened on April 18 this year. Although simple onigiri with one ingredient are popular, this time we will introduce two kinds of gorgeous onigiri with two ingredients. Let's eat freshly made onigiri, carefully crafted by craftsmen. 
This time, we will introduce two types of onigiri. One with sujiko and salmon, and the other with minced chicken and egg yolk. The rice used at this restaurant is sumidayamai, which is a high-quality rice with large grains and a sweet taste. Let's start with the onigiri with salmon and sujiko. Sujiko is salmon roe marinated in soy sauce and its salty taste goes well with rice. It has a nice popping texture. The salmon is moderately fatty and tasty. There are plenty of ingredients inside, and no matter where we eat, the taste of salmon and sujiko fills the mouth. It is a little expensive, but the price is worth it. Next is the minced chicken and egg yolk onigiri. The minced chicken is cooked with sugar and soy sauce, giving it a sweet flavor. The egg yolk is dipped in soy sauce, so it has a nice smell of soy sauce. The strong flavor makes the rice go faster. The size is large and satisfying, but it is fluffy and light in texture. It is an exquisite and gorgeous onigiri. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!